The BBC's head of news tell the woke staff of the organization to stop being snowflakes and get used to the real world. Now, I've been doing my job for a while now, and every now and then I release videos that even some of you will leave in the comment section or email me saying, wow, that was surprising, that was a bit shocking, unexpected. We got the latest for you guys. The head of news at BBC, well, the same BBC, they have been quite frustrating. Uh, they have been living on taxpayers' money and the government subsidies, which is also still taxpayers' money, have been quite frustrating, yet the head of BBC News, uh, Fran Onsworth, uh, had uh, this uh, meeting with uh, the staff of the BBC, especially around the LGBT community, and uh, this is following the decision of the BBC to leave Stonewall, the Diversity Champion Programme, the, the Woke Programme. Now, this is the second time over the last few days that I am praising the BBC because she has told the BBC staff to get used to hearing the views that you don't like. This is the real world. You, you know, sometimes it's tough. This is absolutely fascinating. I think there's definitely a fight back, as a pushback inside the organization because I think they have realized that if you go woke, you go broke. And they are losing their subscribers the ta taxpayers, the, essentially the license fee payers, every day, they are losing their credibility. They are now being threatened by the government, uh, by well, the Tory party, uh, to be uh, completely abolished. And it's not just the Tories, we also have other parties like Reform UK and others who also believe in the same thing. Now, Fran Onsworth has uh, had this meeting and you also had uh, Tim Davey as well, who's obviously the Director General of the BBC, uh, uh, being present. And she said to the staff, that you will hear things that you don't like personally, and you will see things that you don't like. That's what the BBC is, and you have to get used to it. And she added, saying that there are stories that we tell, that we can't, you know, these are just stories, you know, some of them are tough. We can't walk away from the conversation. Someone has to be tough. You know, of course, there will be a lot of people across the country, across the world, who will be affected uh, mentally and emotionally by certain news stories, especially if it's something against uh, their belief. But it's the job of the reporters, the journalists, and the broadcasters to be professional enough to not get emotional, to not have a meltdown like snowflakes, and tell the stories. There are, there are going to be a lot of situations like that. And some of the um, recruits for, for the BBC over the last uh, couple of decades have been all from the similar types of mentality and backgrounds. They're all very left-wing liberals, they're all from the same universities and schools, and they wonder why everybody is the same. Now, luckily, there are some people, including Onsworth, who unfortunately will not be staying forever, she will be leaving, um, but at least there is some sort of pushback. Now, Tim Davey, as the Director General, has a little stand on a number of issues, but even there, the top team are trying to uh, essentially start this... Uh, battle uh, against uh, the lower tier, uh, the, the, the woke side, the woke managers and all the others. Now Stonewall, the diversity champions, have been kicked out. That's a good start. They are now telling the staff basically to, can we say this? Man up. Yeah, man up. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, because real life, real world is tough. And if you don't like it, leave. Join Channel 4. Join Novara Media. I don't know what else you can join. Maybe CNN. They're still hiring work people. But the BBC, they're trying their best to no longer be that frustrating. This does not mean that I'm suddenly a supporter of the BBC. No, I'm still against the model. The model still has to be destroyed. It should be privatized. It should be based on a subscription model like Netflix or whatever you want. You could do ads. Some people might get upset. I don't care. They could change the channel. You know, there are a lot of well, new news channels coming out. We've got GB News, we've got News UK coming as well. They're all going to be on the same model private. That's how it works. Welcome to capitalism. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to click like, subscribe, share the video. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.